Alrighty, so we're going to take a look at uh, AntStream Arcade. Um, it's been, I want to say, about a year or so since I've uh, visited the site, so I figured I'd give it another check or another try, uh, given how uh, revamped the, uh, the interface is from a year ago. Maybe actually a little more of a year ago at this point. So here's the website, guys. So you've got... If I scroll down here, I'm going to go ahead and, there we go. All right, so you got uh, games I've played. You've got games that are curated for you based on what you've played so far. Uh, you have games with challenges. Um, so the game, the games uh, offered here are offered based on the gems you want to pay for uh, to play. So you play, let's say, let's look at uh, Double Dragon, for example. Okay, so let's go ahead and say I want to play Double Dragon. So you play for 30 gems. It's 30 gems to play, unless you're trying for an achievement, uh, in which it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, now, Anstream did give me gems to play with um, for, the, for the purposes of this review, so I do appreciate that. Um, that's why I have some. <laughs> uh, but uh, if I go ahead and get back to play now, now, this will work in any web browser. Right now, I'm on the Xbox One um, S playing through Microsoft Edge, which is pretty handy. So you can play on any device that um, allows for a, a web browser and an internet connection. You can play touchscreen controls. You can play keyboard, mouse, well, keyboard. Uh, or you can play the controller on pretty much any platform. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, now, you've also got up here, you've got tournaments. So you can look at tournaments, and if you participate in tournaments, depending on how you get, you will earn gems to continue playing games. You earn gems by completing tournaments, by, um, by getting achievements, uh, by completing challenges. Actually, I think, I think tournaments just for fun. But uh, challenges, um, achievements, um, as well as uh, daily logins. So if you log in a day, you earn gems. If you skip a day, that's okay. You skip a week, that's all right. You'll still get gems every time you log in. So that is something to uh, uh, something that uh, that's uh, definitely good to know. So let's go ahead and go back to play now. All right, so we got the tournament here. We got uh, again my games and games and challenges. All these games are games that offer challenges you can complete. So let's look at Dig Dug for example. Let's say I want to play Dig Dug. Okay, so here's a challenge I've unlocked here. Just keep digging. Di uh, get through as many levels as possible and obtain the highest score of one life. Um, that's my best score there. That's the score I need to get my next medal. And that's the current position that I'm in, 919. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then you got uh, this one here. That if I wanted to pay 40 gems for, I can unlock and attempt to, uh, to, to do the challenge. Which is, uh, you have infinite lives, score as high as possible in two minutes. So it's pretty cool. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and actually uh, let's go ahead and actually unlock this challenge here. I'll let me pay the forty gems. And I'll say it'll take it out of my total. Okay. Now, when you go to a challenge, you've got solo. If you if you get it, you get twenty gems. If you want to duel it out with a friend, if you got friends on here, you can get forty gems potentially, um, up to eighty if you beat them. Uh, Giant Slayer, which is between thirty and seventy gems. Um, so you're guaranteed 30 up to 70 if you battle the community. So you got a couple options there. Your best payout and higher, highest risk, of course, is Giant Slayer. Um, next duel, of course, solo. I'm going to go into solo. So this will be two minutes. And this will tell you, this will give you all the different ways you can play. It'll load up pretty quick. And I'll be, I will say there's a bit of a delay. Um, and I got to actually... All right, so now I'm playing, and again, this is this is playable on any uh, any uh, any system that can accept a web browser connection or uh, use a, a web browser and a uh, uh, internet connection. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, oh boy, whoa, that was close. Oh man, I died. That's okay though. Um, <laughs> that was pretty cool. But um, like, like I said, it'll accept any 
uh, any device that can accept an interconnection can play these games, which is really cool. Now, you can play based on the amount of gems you earn. They also do have a subscription model, so you can subscribe if you wanted to. Um, I believe it's $30 a year, um, or I think it's like $6.99 a month, so not, not too bad of a, uh, of a uh, price point there. So there is, there is that option too. And I believe when I first covered this, I was actually subscribed for like three months or months something like that, um, when they first started this, which is kind of cool. And this is still cool too. I mean, I like the, oh, I just died. Um, I like the, uh, I just like the interface. The interface is so smooth and, and uh, really, uh, really well done. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh. Okay, so we'll finish this out. We've got 30 seconds left. Uh, and I'll show you some of the games that are on here. I mean, it spans a lot of different systems. It's pretty, pretty cool um, service here for sure. Uh, he's gonna escape, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna escape. That's fine. Seven seconds left. Seven seconds. Hi oh, okay. So let's see here. E so six thousand three. Okay, so I earned forty-five gems. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'll take it. All right, and you can retry if you want for twenty to get a better score. I'm gonna go ahead and say done, and I'm gonna back out. Okay, now so that's that's an idea of how the challenges work. Now what's cool here is you got new games. So you've got all these new games that have come. To the service. I got some classics for sure. I got some indies here as well, which is really nice to see. I love to see indies. So you got Blow Out, a really, or uh, uh, Blow Em Out, which is a real good uh, 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 SNES game. Uh, you've got multiplayer games, you got indie games, you got Flea. Flea is a great game. Uh, Reshoot R. Uh, you have a Metal Dragon for um, uh, MSX. Tapeworm. For NES, we got Tanglewood for Genesis, uh, Dodgy Rocks. Not sure what that's on. Uh, you've got uh, Handy Harvey for Genesis. Uh, you've got uh, let's see here, Life on Mars from Miss X, uh, Millie and Molly, which also has it has um, challenges, which is cool. You got Bugs Quest. So lots of lots of, lots of cool, really cool games here. <laughs> Curse of uh, uh, MR Bay for uh, for Genesis, and you've got uh, uh, Ira the uh, Crow Maiden for NES, uh, Turbo Tomatoes there. So you got tons of different Rygar. Um, you got uh, Spy Hunter, uh, the uh, our, uh, the um, uh, arcade game there. You got uh, Marvel Madness, um, uh, the New Zealand Story, Super Burger Time. Uh, just tons of Renegade, tons of different. Uh, games here spanning tons of different uh, platforms from arcade to to computer uh, you name it it's <laughs> it's just tons of options um, and tons of different genres you got pinball you got pinball games here casino games adventure games you even have text adventures which are really cool I'm not sure how text adventures would work say on on uh, with a controller but <laughs> it's probably a virtual keyboard um, but, uh, but yeah, just tons of different games here. Um, Gunbird, uh, maze games, storage games, board games, uh, battle chess, uh, role-playing games here as well, uh, Arcus, uh, uh, Magic Ward. Uh, let's go ahead and check out a text adventure. Let's go ahead and look at, uh, Let's go look at the Castle of Terror here on, oop, on the uh, Commodore 64. We'll pay 30 gems, why not? Okay. Let's see how this plays. And I'm guessing it's going to be a virtual keyboard. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you 
can't put this on the keyboard. <laughs> it's just not going to work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quit. Now it's cool, so I wasted 30 gems, but that's all right. That's all right. I, I'll, I'll eventually earn them back. All right, so let's say I wanted to play... Uh, let's do... Um, let's do an indie game. Let's do... Let's do Flea. Flea is a great game. So here's Flea. And for those that don't know, Flea is a uh, puzzle platformer, which is really cool. So you gotta, you gotta just, you're constantly jumping, and you've got to. Uh, You gotta catch. You gotta get all the uh, blood vials and then get to the exit. And they got syringes to uh, <laughs> to uh, avoid. Pretty uh, simple yet challenging puzzle. Uh, puzzle platforming game. Oh, I just died. Okay, and we're gonna grab those. Now let's say, for instance, that I was done playing. Okay, let's say I was done playing right here. I'm going to hit the uh, start button here. I can go ahead and save it. So it does support save states, which is really cool. Okay. And I've got settings. So you've got a D pad, you have a vibration, transparency, uh, T bed, Denso volume, uh, how to play. I'm going to go ahead and quit the game. Okay, let's say I want to come back to it. Now, what's cool about this, which I just now noticed actually, so we got 1436. So if I reload the save, I'm curious if it's going to use my, my gems. Okay, so it does. So when you load the save, it does use your gems, but it doesn't tell you that. Um, so playing starts over from the beginning, and then save uses your gems, but continues from where your last save point was. Still really cool. Uh, really cool to, to see this on here. Um, and just overall a great platform. Um, I love what, what, what the guys at Instagram have done with this. Um, there's just so much to this. And it's a great service. Um, it there is a bit of I will admit there is some input lag, um, but it's not too terribly bad. Um, now if you're going to try to play like um, like pinball, I wouldn't suggest it. But if you're going to play like a platformer, um, no 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 issues usually. Um, at least as far as I'm, I've noticed, uh, more combat plays really well. Um, I think the only time you're going to really need like a touch control input. Um, or more of a, yeah, how about, yeah, touch controls will be like pinball, I'd say, because that's, that's from the screen, it's going to be more responsive than, say, a controller would be, um, over the, uh, uh, internet, but, uh, overall, great system. Um, I would thank, um, uh, Anstream for providing the, uh, um, additional gems, and, uh, I do encourage you to check it out. It's a great service, uh, one I've definitely been, <laughs> been enjoying all over again, um, and it's a great, great time. Um, if you want to find me here, you can find me, challenge me to some games. It'd be pretty, pretty fun. So, all right, that'll do it here. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.